And here we are. After two whole months of nothing but Vertion, today is the day. Back by popular demand, we are celebrating the Vetion arc of this account with some beautiful desk mats featuring artwork from the Sculled. These are available at FreyRS.com and there are four to choose from. Vetion, a hand-drawn and coloured epic of the Vetion fight. Lost, an homage to the entirety of the Wilderness Chunk arc. Wilderness, a gorgeous render of the Ferox Enclave and Wilderness Beyond in Unreal Engine 5. And Search, one for all the PKers out there enjoying the hunt with the boys. I hope that you guys like them as much as I do. The desk mats are full colour, high quality neoprene and sized at 31 by 15 inches. So they really are a love letter to your setup. There are only 100 of each available. So please head over to FreyRS.com to pick one up before they are all gone. Oh, and please like the video, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think of the intro in the comments. I want the intro you've just watched and the rest of this video to be seen by as many people as possible. So your algorithmic support is very much appreciated. Now, it's probably worth reminding ourselves where we are at with the account. We have three goals left to complete the chunk and start rolling again. Green logging Vetion, attaining all the unique items and the pet, filling the Draconic Visage collection log slot, this is only possible for me via the Lava Dragons on Lava Dragon Isle, and lastly, Fletching a Dragon Dart. This has two distinct sub goals, getting 95 Fletching and attaining the Dragon Dart tips from the Laren's chest. Now, despite the title of this video, we're actually starting off the week at Lava Dragons. Oh my god! Oh, you fuck. Fuck you, you actually got me. Oh no! Oh, you fuck! Oh, you actually got me with that. No, oh, my heart actually went. You dick. Oh, that was like the best one I've seen done, though. Like, when people have tried it before, it's not got me, but that totally got me. Oh my god. My heart is actually going. My heart is going like crazy. Oh my god. And there is 76 prayer. Oh, it's going to be the first of many, I'm sure. Unless we can spoon this visage. Which I'm sure, based on this account's history, we can't. Oh fuck, I just logged in again when I didn't mean to. Fuck off. What are the odds on that? Are you fucking joking? I accidentally logged in. <laughs> I accidentally logged in by just spam clicking and lost it. You are fucking joking me. I can't believe that just happened. I'm so upset and I've got 20 sand foods on me as well. You fucking jokers. That's such bullshit. I logged out perfectly and then just spam click the log out button. Oh, they you taking the piss. Where on the screen was I clicking there for that to be justified? Oh my god. There it is. 99 mining for the Duffster. And here goes the drop party, as always, with the AGSs and the Berserker rings. Imagine if a PK came in right now. Oh, <laughs> God, hopefully a PK doesn't log in outside. <laughs> there is no one outside protecting either. And, like, everyone in here is going to have fat loots on them. Just dropped into the Vetion cave on a world. And for some reason, there is a team of, like, Four people here. Bit confused. All hit me with the same joke at the same time. Good guys. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> well, this will be good. This will be a test to see how many kills per hour I can get, eh? Right, let's do this. And with that, we are up to 4,100 kill count. Still going strong. Uh, ether stack not looking fantastic but onwards and upwards 400 to go until we're officially uh, officially officially three times 
the drop rate. We were four times the drop rate on getting the mace. So we're really, what, 1,900 kills away from getting back to how dry we were at the mace. We've been at Vetion now for significantly over 250 hours, probably coming up on 300 hours. Wild, honestly, so wild. Reflex right. Oh, what a washed prayer flick that was. See ya. Easy. Easy got that. That's the easy gap, isn't it? Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! See you, my friend! Oh my god! That was too good! Yes! That was perfect! 20 hit points! Oh my god! What a dub! <laughs> what a dub that was! Oh my god! That was such a dub! Oh! Yes! Oh! Right, so there is a fight going on outside the Vetion layer right now, so we may have to run. But I did just hit 4,200 kill count at Vetion, which is quite bonkers, isn't it? Um, so what I'm going to do, actually, is try and die ASAP. Because it's looking like our team's going to get overrun by these PKers. Uh, we have about half a dozen people outside they have logged in with about a dozen so it's not looking good uh but there is 4200 kill count of etion still no pet uh, i've done some duos with sean for about the last 50 kills first ones i've done in about 1200 kills so i feel like i owe myself a break from the solo vetion but yeah no pet still but the loot stacks are stacking up very very nicely indeed Oh, that is a ring of the gods for Sean Warren. Ah, oh, no, he's got one already. Oh, I thought that was what he needed. Oh, he must need the Void Waker piece. A rip. Rip Sean Warren. Enjoying the duo, so it's a fun way to do Vatian. Okay, hit is coming in. Kill count number 4300. Now, that 35 seconds that you see on the clock is not actually how long these kills take uh, that is actually just how long i think either a, a phase or half a phase takes uh, so the kills are sub 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 substantially slower than that but we're going for it uh what i'm going to try next though is i'm going to try out some interesting tech that i've decided might be good in solos with a little bit of backup in the bulwark so i shall see the boys shortly for a little bit of bulwark experimentation okay so if i'm correct yes they are here already look at his gear the full justicia you love to see it right so my idea with the bulwark tech is that i'm just gonna have these guys from bouncer gang uh wait in the corners not attack the boss at all so i get all of the loot because fun fact you don't get a loot share from killing the dogs and their job is just going to be to step forward at the right moment and dump a bulwark spec on the dogs and hopefully insta kill all of the dogs in the room so we'll see how this goes not great on the first attempt but there is another guy coming so hopefully in future kills, it will go a bit better because we're going to have two people covering uh, what should be four dogs. So we should be in a slightly better spot and hopefully we will get some insta kills on the dogs. Okay, so we have our second boy here now. Can we get an insta kill? 
No, not quite, not quite, but you can see where we're aiming for it, in that even even without the instant kill, that was quick, so you can see, um, you can see what we're trying to do, and I think it's gonna work, uh, yeah, I think it's gonna work, I think genuinely the more people you have in Bulwarks, the better, to be honest, but I think this will work. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go. Yes, 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 there it was. And that was from one bulwark as well. The second one didn't even proc. 120 damage from one bulwark for the insta-kill on the dogs. That is exactly what we're aiming for. And I think, I mean, look, the kills per hour on the tracker in a minute is 26. Now, it's only over four kills, but that seems like a significant improvement over the 15 per hour that I was getting purely solo. Um, I think 26 is possibly a bit inflated, but still, I don't see that that's going to fall down to, like, 15 i think that'll stick above 20 that's mad no <laughs> and there it is again the insta kill tag on the dogs it looks so nice oh my god it just looks so good the way they all just collapse at once i love that so much okay so there is level 70 defense that is a big defense level for us i mean I thought, to be honest, I would have to get 70 defense a lot earlier in this account. I thought I'd be unlocking Barrows, like, straight away. Uh, and that hasn't been the case. Also, 114 combat. Only 12 levels away from 126 combat. That's kind of crazy. Uh, we're going to get a lot more defense levels on this grind as well. But I, that is, like, quite a cool milestone, I think. Level 70 defense always feels like a big one on any account. Never mind an extreme one chunk. So hopefully, we can just get Barrows to match. Okay. Oh, 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 100 Rana weeds. We love to see that every single time. Not that we'll be able to use them anytime soon. I mean, kind of hopefully as well. Wouldn't be a great time unlocking Tavoli. Um, but yeah, 100 Rana weeds. Oh, got the hop there. He ran the wrong way inside. Oh, I was so late. I was so late on that, but I did get the hop. Oh. That'll be a nice thing to add onto this clip. Just got 100 mil total XP. Well, not just got, but I've just realized that I'm 100 million XP. XP absolutely flies by because I'm getting like so much XP in like combats from getting my strength up. That's mad. Huge. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! We got it! Oh my god, no fucking way! Now, I'm sorry to interrupt this reaction, however, at this point in the clip, it is probably worth noting that when one leaves Vetion's rest, they are spat out into the escape caves, a multi-combat area filled to the brim with grizzly bears and poison spiders. The max hit for these creatures is eight. I'm wearing priest gowns, robes with a grand total of zero defensive stats, and as you can see on the screen, I have eight hit points remaining after that Vetion kill, and only two food, neither of which I've yet decided to eat. Oh my god! Run! Run! Oh no, I'm on, I'm on eight hit points! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh, my heart is actually fucking going. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right. Right. We need to, need to try and make it back to the bank. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. No fucking way. Oh, my God. The stress. Okay, right. That's one of the boys. Okay, we should be good to make it back without, um... Oh my god! Oh my god! 4,380! As if! Oh. No fucking way! I'm actually fucking shaking, bruh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my goodness. Bro, check your pulse. Yeah, oh my god, my pulse is going like nuts.
Right, I should be good because I should be able to redemption proc. Look at that thing! 4,380 KC. Oh my god, 4,000... 380 kill count. I can't believe I went into the escape caves and was on like 42 hit points. Oh. Oh my god. My back. It's something about my back. Oh my god. My back really hurts. What have I done? Oh my god. Oh my god. And we're back. We're back at Ferrex Enclave. There is the pet. Thank you to Scrand Solo and Noodle Boy. For escorting me back to the caves. Oh my god. There we go. Procked it. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. oh, I'm so happy. 4,380 kill count. We got it. Oh my god. Which chat does it appear in? There you go. Oh. That looks so good. Look at that. Metamorphosis. Normal legacy. Oh. Reborn legacy. Ah, oh, look how ratchet it looks, but it looks so good. Oh my god, reborn and then normal. Look at that bad boy. I think probably reborn's my favourite. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, I'm dying here. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh my god. Look at that thing. Dunce, yes, get the dunce as well. Oh, that's madness. I think this is also will be 37 Slayer as well. There we go. 37 Slayer as well. Getting all the levels. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Green log on the Betion and Calvarian. Ooh. One pet. Six rings of the gods, 17 dragon pickaxes, 11 dragon two H's, 16 skulls of Vetion, and nine void waker blades. 4,380 kill count. Green on the log. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty, I must say. PKA, guys. PKA. Northeast. He's on me. Here we go. He doesn't know what he's walked into. Get on him, lads. He's got two keys on him as well. Things you love to see. Yes! I knew it. He spotted me straight away and I knew he'd be straight on me. That's so funny. Get his ass. Get his ass. There we go. See ya! <laughs> easy. Easy. He did. He thought he was here killing, uh, killing lava dragon bots, and we showed him. <laughs> okay, so it is the morning after the night before, and this is where we're at with the grind. There is the Vetion Junior pet in the bank next to the stale baguette. <sighs> Crazy times. But I think what we should do is look at the loot tab and what we got from it overall. So from 4,380 Vetion, mostly solo, about 85 to 90% solo. 17 pickaxes, 11 D2Hs, 15 skulls of Vetion, 9 Void Waker Blades, and 6 Rings of the Gods are the uniques. But I think more importantly is all the other stuff that we got. So 1,200 Super Restores, 20. 300 sandwich serums that'll be massive for nightmare for me one day Nine thousand rubies doesn't look that impressive but that's about eight hundred thousand crafting xp uh when we need to craft it as well as potentially loads of ruby bolts or loads of rings of forging or any number of things that could be very useful for us in the future we've got all these herbs which are actually very useful we've got an 
Uh, we've got about 200 doses of super combat left over, which is pretty big. Uh, 25,000 super compost. Now, that makes any potential farming grind a lot, lot easier. Obviously, super compost isn't the best compost, but the chance of us getting Fossil Island is very, very low. So having that as an option is massive. Uh, dragon bones, 11,700 dragon bones. That is coming up to three and a half mil prayer XP right there. These runes not fantastic on their own or, or like not too unique but will be useful for future trunks like having that many death runes is just going to be useful for magic in the future things like barrows and that kind of thing same with the blood runes they could be used in fact to like charge a scythe or a sanguinesti staff if we get those 125,000 gold or now if we had access to goldsmithing gauntlets that would be like uh, 6 million, 7 million smithing XP, but we don't, but it's still around the sort of 2.8 to 3 mil smithing XP mark. Absolutely massive. Uh, 68,000 oak planks, that is coming up on 4 million construction XP right there. 23,000 Mortmire fungus, 9,500 limpwort roots, nearly 12,000 ones of Zamorant. They will be massive for herb lore secondaries one day. Uh, and then 12,500 magic logs. Now, that is probably the most relevant for us at the moment, uh, because that right there is maybe 1.1, 1.2 mil uh, fletching XP. So that will be enough to get us up to about 93 and a half fletching. Um, that's important. We've also, we also had a lot more magic logs than that. Where are my magic longbows? Yes, we've got 29,000 magic longbows that we've already cut, uh, a significant amount of them in this chunk. So that's very exciting as well. And we will need to do something else to finish off our fletching ride because we need 95 for the dragon darts uh, at some point in this chunk. So we might do Ents, we might do some mass Vetian, we might just chop oak logs. Uh, we'll do some testing and see what's the best. But yeah end of a truly biblical grind getting the veteran junior pet and we have a lot of rewards to show for it okay so with that kill we have just hit 2000 total lava dragon kills so i wouldn't say we're past the point of spooning it but we're not getting it insanely early to the point that i feel bad for other people who try and get it uh 2000 kills is like a decent amount of time to spend trying to get one drop so hopefully we can get it before like 5000 that would make me very happy but you never know do you might not work out and there is 96 magic just three levels to go that's kind of crazy eh kind of crazy indeed 96 wow as discussed at the start of the video, I need to fletch a dragon dart. Aside from the obvious goal of 95 fletching, I also need to actually obtain a dragon dart, and herein lies the problem. I completed Zombie Pirates weeks ago. I got the teleport anchoring skull as a drop from a zombie pirate at a rate of 1 in 20,000 and thought I'd finally got lucky somewhere. However, zombie pirates are actually the only NPC in the entire game to drop Laren's keys without the need for a slayer task. The Laren's chest is the only means in all 50 of my chunks to attain a dragon dart tip. However, they aren't exactly common. From the chest, the dragon dart tips drop at a rate of 1 in 30. You might be thinking, ah, oh, that's not too bad. And that is where you'd be wrong. The Laren's keys themselves drop from the pirates at a rate of 1 in 362. This means that to get the 30 keys that we'd need for the dart tip drop rate, I need to kill 10,000 860 zombie pirates. Yet again, I'm landed with an astronomically rare RNG goal. With this in mind, optimising my zombie pirate kills per hour versus my continued ether usage woes is extremely important. Right, so I just did a test of how many kills per hour I could get with the crossbow. We just got 2015. Uh, we just got up to 2015 KC in six minutes. So what we're looking at is, in fact, I'll carry on for a little bit just because I can't actually bank at the minute because it's uh, got time on the tele blocker. Um, so I got... How many kills is that? Uh, 66 kills 
in six minutes, which means that I'm getting about 660 kills per hour. Might round that down to about 650 kills per hour. Uh, and I now just need to go and test a method that doesn't use ether against that to see if it is worth using the crossbow, risking the ether, seeing how many we need to get. Overall, on rate for the dragon dart tips, we should need to kill uh, about 11,000 zombie pirates. So with this method, we're looking at maybe 15, 16, 17 hours for the drop rate, which really isn't too bad compared to... Uh, Compared to the Vetion grind that we just did and the Lava Dragon grind that we still have to go. Um, so, yeah, I think this could be a good method. Uh, it just depends how small the XP per hour um, or, or how many kills per hour I lose by moving to like a, ma a magic short bow or an uncharged uh, mace, for example. So, we shall see. So I've now just tested 10 kills uh, or, or 6 minutes with the magic short bow. And we got 35 kills in the 6 minutes. So we're looking at about 350 kills per hour. So it's about half as quick as the crossbow. That's actually slightly closer than I thought it would be. To be honest. I thought it would be worse than that. Um, obviously I have to buy adamant arrows which isn't the end of the world. Um, but it is slower for sure we're looking at about 30 hours instead of 16 hours so what's the what's the ether usage on the crossbow one ether every three ticks so you use 2000 per hour and i can get 5000 per hour ish at the revenant caves uh factor in any deaths that we get Again, probably similar to Lava Dragons, it's probably actually very equal in terms of time. But I feel like it's probably more interesting and less sanity killing for me to just do it as quickly as possible and worry about the ether at a later date, right? Because um, I was watching a tedious video and he reckons they might update the emblems. That they might update the... How how rare is the Dragon Scimitar from there? I swear it's very rare to get Dragon Scimitar from Zombie Pirates. Hmm. Um, it's... Uh, yeah, he reckon they might trade in the Revenant Emblems for Revenant and Ether. And if that happens, I'll be annoyed that I didn't just use the Ether when I, when I could have done. So I think based on the fact that it's probably about equal, if anything, using the Ether is probably slightly better, I'm probably going to lean on to using the crossbow here i think oh we just got a straight up laren's key yes that is nice so that's what we want that's what we're here for the rate is a one in 372 and that is exactly what we're here for so i'll just go and back that now and i'm probably going to pull out the crossbow strategy again hey there's a pk -er. oh there's a couple yeah there's a pk -er to the north if you guys want him Couple of them. See ya! <laughs> Get his ass, boys! <laughs> carnage. Absolute carnage. So, let's have a little look at what we have in the looting bag. Five, four, seven k, which isn't actually that good considering that we've used like six hundred charts. But look at the food stacks, the food stacks, and the nine zombie pirates keys. That's nuts. One in thirty for the dragon dart tips. Let's just hope we can get them now. Diamonds, steel bars. Fuck's sake! <laughs> All right, back to. Uh... Back to zombie pirates. <laughs> oh my god. I've just realised that I can now hit 39s with the default. So since I got 96 magic, my max hit has gone up by 2. I was I was able to max a 37. And now I can max a 39 with just the regular hits. That's massive. That's actually huge. That must be a very decent DPS increase. Like 5% DPS increase right there. That's crazy. Go on then. Let's just take the dragon dart tips here and now. I'm just opening these one at a time now because I don't want to waste time getting them. 
Oh, fuck! I thought that was it. Oh, no! Oh, that's so annoying. Dragon arrow tips. Not the one we need. We need dragon dart tips. Ah, oh, that's infuriating. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was an interesting PK attempt, I must say. Why would he try and get me across the gap? That was just bizarre. Oh, 58. Right, there's our new max hit. 58. With the Accursed Scepter. That is, I think, the biggest number I can hit overall, right? I don't think there's a number I... Because, yeah, there's no special attack on the mace, so I can only hit, like, 43s with that. And the Coral Spose, like, a 39. 58! Just, just saying, I can hit a 58 on an extreme one-chunk account. That is bonkers. So, as is became tradition with these fletching levels, I have got level 92 fletching off stream. We still have nearly 10,000 magic logs, which is going to get us to about 93 and a half fletching. So, I'm only going to have to fill out about one and a half more levels, which really isn't too mad. Um, I'm at 2,100 lava dragon kill count, and I think it's time that we get that up a bit. So, uh, yeah, let's go get stuck in. And there is level 77 prayer, which is the last level that you need for any prayer in this game as of current. 77 unlocks augury. Probably going to be years, maybe decades until we get augury and rigor. But when do we do? We can now unlock them. But that is 77 prayer. That is going to just keep flying up like crazy. It's about 34k prayer XP per hour doing this. So yeah, that's going to keep going up big time. Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me! Oh! Surprise, motherfucker! See ya! Hopefully he didn't get his protect item on, that'd be funny. Imagine you're like solo PKing and you got five keys on and you got five keys on you and you immediately get dropped like that. I'd be fuming. Thank you so much for watching as much of this video as you have. To celebrate our recent successes and make a massive push towards finishing this chunk, I'm hosting a 24-hour stream on the 27th of June over at kick.com forward slash FreyRS. There is a small subathon element to this stream, and so it's very possible that it will go on for over 36 hours. There will be forfeits and drop parties and a lot of extreme one-chunk action. So make sure to drop a follow over at kick.com forward slash FreyRS so that you know when the fun begins at 9am UK time on Thursday the 27th of June. Be there or be square. So what we're going to do now is test the zombie pirates kills per hour with range doses which I feel like will make it very fun. So uh, yeah let's get stuck in and just see, see what kind of carnage we can cause. So we're starting at 421... 45 let's go okay and with that kill we have just finished our time and we hit 37 27 which means that i got what 70 kills plus 75 kills in six minutes so with the range part we're getting 750 kills per hour that's wild i'm not even using a salve amulet if i was using a salve amulet it'd be so much quicker as well because i could one hit the um the level i could one hit all of them whereas at the moment i can only one hit two thirds of them so 750 kills per hour is absolutely mental Will I keep doing it? I might keep doing it. I'm, I'm just probably going to run the range pots down to zero, though, rather than, like, use them every five minutes or whatever. But that is actually insane kills per hour. 750 kills per hour. What? I think how much money I must be making with that. So that means, like, in, in max gear, you must be relatively easily able to hit, like, a 1,000 kills per hour. And these things drop, like, 5K on average. So... You'd be doing, like, what? Five mil per hour of max gear doing this? That's bonkers. So, we just did some pretty successful zombie pirate trips, and we just got another 14 zombie pirates keys. So, 
what I'm going to be doing is taking my 100 zom 101 zombie pirate keys over to the chest, seeing if we can get any more Larens keys, and then opening all the Larens keys together. So what I believe I need to do if I'm doing it like this is I need to unequip this stuff, chuck those in, and then get my Amulet of Avarice, which will skull me, which will be annoying. Uh, but it will note all of the loot that I get from these zombie pirate keys as it goes into the looting bag. So all I need now, I believe, is just some food for tanking. Uh, and we should be good. So, right, let's go and uh, open all of these zombie pirate keys and hope that we get some larynx keys from it. Right, so we've luckily got Bouncer Gang with us to help protect us for if any PKs log in, but it is time to just get stuck in and open these 101 keys. Are we going to get anything exciting? Probably not, but it will be some decent loot either way, so uh, let's go. Oh, there we go. Yes, 2x Laren's keys. That is exactly what we wanted. Hopefully we can get another set of those before... Uh, before we open our Larens keys that we've got in the bank, but I'll tell you what, just having an extra two is very, very nice. Okay, and there is the end of our zombie pirate keys. Let's have a look at the loot. 1.8 mil, we did get two Larens keys, which is what we were after. Look at the blighted food. 256 anglerfish, 240 manta ray, 116 caramel, and then 24 super stores. That is absolutely mental. Right, time to go and grab our other three Larens keys, and then we can, um, and then we can go and open our five Larens keys and hopefully get our dragon dart tips. Right, so we've got five Larens keys to open, which gives us a one in six chance at getting the Dragon Tart tips that we need. <sighs> Please, I just want to get something of use to me. Ruby's not good. Rune Plate Leg's not good. Oh, you fucker! Dragon Arrow tips, exactly the same rate and look the same as the Dragon Dart tips. <sighs> Pure Essence decent in the long run and more Rune Plate Legs. Fuck's sake! Right. <laughs> Let's see if I got the dragon arrow tips again. Taking a piss. Right, time for more zombie pirates then, I guess. At least the rate wasn't too bad. Right, we just got a random Laren's key right at the end of our trip at uh, zombie pirates. We've got the fattest looting bag you've ever seen. But let's just open this random Laren's key, see if we can get something good. Sad. <laughs> At least the gold ore is one of the slightly better drops we can get. You see, this is why I love Bouncer Gang. I'm no longer just scared of PKers. The boys tune in and take them right out. We love it. We love to see it. <laughs> Finally, after like seven months in Wilderness Chunks, I'm like taking it back to the PKers. It is so nice. Massive respect for all the guys in Bouncer Gang. Oh, there is level 102 hit points. 17.5 mil hit points XP. It's amazing how fast that goes by once um, once you're not keeping track of it anymore. <laughs> I always find that. 17.5 mil, that's nuts. The range level as well is like 29.5, so we're nearly at 30 mil range XP. That is not alright. I play this game way too much. And this is a testament to how effective Bouncer Gang is. Today I've been doing just Lava Dragons and Zombie Pirates. I've done absolutely nothing else but those two activities. And I am in 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes now, going to get 6 hour log. I've been logged in for 5 hours and 49 minutes. That's mad. Like, in one world, one session, just doing Zombie Pirates and just doing Lava Dragons and I've not been killed once. Bouncer gang go And there is level 72 defense Yet again, not a combat level, but it's good because now like when I get PK as long as I can really feel the defense to be honest um, So it is nice getting that to go up quite a bit uh, 167k until 98 strength probably won't get that in this chunk now uh, but yeah, we're finally kind of getting our combat levels firing a bit. 
So, with that kill, we have just hit 2,500 Lava Dragons, which puts us at a quarter of the rate of the Visage. No Visage in sight, so safe to say we're not doing a Mega Spoon on the Visage, but if I can get it before 5,000, i.e. half the rate, I would class that as a Spoon still. After that, we're going to be... I'd, oh, I can just feel it. I'm definitely going to go like 38,000 dry, aren't I? Fuck's sake. I can just feel it coming on. I've got a guy on me. Oh, can you guys not attack this guy? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Easy as you like. <laughs> I love getting those escapes. <laughs> Oh, I just got a f dragon med helm from a lava dragon. No idea what the drop rate on that is, but my guess is it's not great, seeing as that's the first one that I've had from lava dragons in all this time. <sighs> it's definitely going to be a rare rate, isn't it? And there is 78 prayer. Two levels to go into a level 80. That's really kind of getting up there. 80 prayer. That's going to be crazy. I feel very, very lucky because Limpwer has absolutely no good prayer method, right? So if he unlocks the monastery, he's like toast. Whereas if I unlock the monastery now, it's not necessarily the end of the world now that I've got this Lava Dragon chunk. <laughs> unlucky, big man. Rest in pieces. <laughs> See ya. 100 silver ore from the lava dragons again no ring of wealth i so what's the drop rate on that that's gonna be a stupid drop rate as well now that doesn't actually do anything for me because i can't smelt it because i don't have 20 smithing um but it's cool to get silver ore banked because it will likely be useful for me one day what is that that's just bizarre why can i not just get proper draw hang on let me have a look all right so it's another one in 2700 drop <sighs> i just i keep getting so many of these and it's just never the visage at least it's not as bad as the shield left half that i got shield left half was like a one in twelve thousand. so at least it's not actually rarer than the visage but it would be nice to just get spooned for once please so as part of our testing to see if it is going to be worth it doing mass vetion in the future for uh you know magic logs for gold or for planks etc we're testing bulwark tech which is essentially you attack bulwark uh, you attack vetion with the bulwark and then you drop your spec on the dogs for massive xp drops and hopefully insta kill dogs now that didn't exactly work that time but hopefully, in the second phase, it will. And what we're seeing is kill times are under a minute. So as you can see on the kills per hour calculator, we're up to about 65 kills per hour with this tech at the moment. So it's insane kills per hour. We just need to test it against... Uh, we need to test it against just using Ursine Chain Maces, but I suspect it's better. Like, look how quickly the dogs die. Like, that's nuts. Crucially, is the kills per hour going to go up or down from 65? I definitely need to bring like, uh, okay, 63. So we're looking around the 60 to 65 kills per hour range. Um, I think this could be good. I think, obviously, in reality, I would be on Cannabis Chunk instead of this account. Um, and other people would be filling my spot. But I do think this works. So I won't spec this time because I think other people will. Yeah, there we go, look. I mean, look. Look how quick the dogs all die. I think that's better than using Ursine Maces, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> this is totally bonkers. And I somehow ended up sculled because I don't have skull protection as the count, so I'm currently risking about 60 mil or something. <laughs> 
and I just recently hit 5,000 kill count at the Zombie Pirates. It's insane how good money these are. They, they have like 30 to 40 hit points each, and their average drop is 5k. Like, that's insane. I've got 25 mil loot on the loot tracker from uh, 5,000 Zombie Pirates. Bear in mind I'm getting like 750 kills per hour. They're nuts. Um... The rate to get the dragon dart tips from the Larynx chest is probably about 1 in 11,000 zombie pirates. So, uh, yeah, we still probably got a long way to go statistically. Um, but it's annoying. Like, the, I, the one thing I spooned in this chunk was the teleport blipping scroll, which was, like, great. And I was so happy about it at the time. But the fact that I still have to be here anyway getting these, uh, getting these Larynx keys is definitely a little bit frustrating. But, uh, yeah. Onwards and upwards. Hopefully, we can get it relatively soon because, uh, yeah, doing putting all this effort and all this ether into getting just a few dragon dart tips is frustrating. Just uh, I could I could be getting a draconic visage right now. So in the last couple of hours, I've done um, thirteen hundred zombie pirates and got no Larence keys. But I do have 60 zombie pirate keys that will be fun to open. So uh, let's just get stuck into these and see if we can get any Larence keys and hopefully end this grind sooner rather than later. Right, so there is the last key. But thankfully, about 5 or 10 from the end, we did actually get our two Larence keys. So what I'm going to do is teleport out teleport to clan wars and then go and open up those two lounge keys and please just give me the dart tips please right so we've got two lounge keys please just give me the dart tips that's all right <sighs> oh please 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 just let me let me go moist somewhere Oh, I've got be care on me, boys. Uh, I'm in world 331, I believe. I'm gonna flick the prayers. He's only 125 combat, so he should be a relatively easy escape. TY boys. <laughs> Kill his ass. Get his ass, boys. <laughs> oh, go on, take him right out. <laughs> Get his ass. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna run. <laughs> Come on. Get him. Get him. See ya. <laughs> Ah, oh, isn't it so good getting the uh, calling the boys in like that? I was, I, I must say, I was doing some absolutely elite prayer flicks on that guy, like protecting from all the other chaos druids and flicking for his hits. That was solid from me. Oh, I'm so fucked, boys. I'm so fucked. What do I do here? Okay, right. I need to. There we go. Got him. Got him. Yes. <laughs> oh, we do what we want. See ya. <laughs> oh, that was good. Look at the boys. See, this 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 is why I love Bouncer Gang. I I, I rock up to lavas and they're already here. Like a bunch of sap. <laughs> This is why I don't love Bouncer Gang. I immediately get barraged as soon as I arrive at Lava Dragons. <laughs> Do 
Guys, I've got a peak air on me. Guys, peak air on me to the northwest of uh, the island. I've got a Laren's key on me as well. Oh, fuck, there's two of them. Fuck. Guys, PKers! Help! Right, I'm running to that tower. Help! Yes, come on, bouncer gang! Get stuck in! Right, I'm going to the tower over here. I should be able to get away on the tower. Okay, I think I'm alright. I think I'm alright. Yes, okay, I got away. <laughs> Bouncer gang goes fire again. Oh my god. I did not know this was here. Oh my god, I've been running all the way around and over there this whole time. And oh, this whole time there's a bloody shortcut here. It's only level 72. That's huge. Okay, so we're just turning in another 71 zombie pirate keys. Hopefully we can keep our luck streak going and get a couple Laren's keys from these. That would be much appreciated. It is very satisfying just opening the like loads of these things and getting a load of loot, I must say. Sorry about my voice. I've lost it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, we just got a teleport anchoring scroll. We did not need or want that because we already have one, but that is quite funny to get. Uh, hopefully, we can get some Laren's keys from the last bit of this. Four keys left to get some Laren's keys. Come on. Come on. Sadly not. Right, let's take a little look in this looting bag. We did get a teleport anchoring scroll, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Just look at the loot, though. Absolutely nuts, considering it's just, like, bonus. Like, 112 anglers, 106 mantas. Those are, like, the main things. 30 super restores. That is crazy, isn't it? Really crazy. Right. Laren's chest. Surely. Right, we'll talk to Laren. We'll do a spin, and we'll open the chest. 360 the chest. And not get the dragon dart tips. Fuck you! Fuck you! Third time! Dragon arrow tips again! Baiting me! Oh my god! As if we got the dragon arrow tips again! <sighs> 26 times we've looted the Laren's chest now. Still no dragon dart tips. Four more and we're at like the rate for dragon dart tips. So if we don't get them by 30, it is yet another grind. That we're going to be going dry on. Where's my RNG? Honestly, where is my RNG? Literally in the bin. It's a joke, son. So much for tuning in and watching the video this week. We've made some insane progress. I'm up to 7,500 zombie pirates. Nearly 3,000 lava dragons. And of course, we finished off Vetion with the Vetion Junior pet. Just look at the uniques we got. This isn't even all the skulls of Etienne. We got nine Void Waker blades, six rings of the gods. We are drowning in Vetion loot as well. If we just pull up the bank, just look at that. If we chuck all of this in as well, our total Vetion loot tab is well over 700 mil. And just look at some of the item stacks. They are truly insane. Such a successful video. I can really feel that this chunk isn't going to take that much longer. I've got faith in my RNG. I think we can finally go out, get the Draconic Visage, get the Dragon Dart Tips, finish off the 95 Fletching, and just wrap up this chunk and roll some new ones. I would like to say a massive thank you to all of the channel members. As always, at the Amethyst tier, we have Fontcest, Talfane, Patrick Wright, Jern Scallon, Sir Yolo, and Mike Moran. At the Rune tier, we have Crito, Cyanscape, Cornstalk Cans, Jesse Emelian, and Adam Cornick. At the Legend tier, we have El Pinin, Brad Norsium, Cum Crumpet, 
Pit Titas, Uber Hasu, Baseman, Alacy, Draco Ranger, Pieto Tari, Just Taxland, Girk, Can't Even Fly, and Douglas Sears. And as always, at the gold tier, we have Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Salnex or Kai, Hunter Man, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Squang, Olivet, Hazmat 83, Nilo 360, Crow Poro, Vandio Gaming, Asher Anchor, Spooky Pasta, Carsman, Hannibal, Patatis, Wimble, Chess John, Only Moly, Played Pancakes, Ed Manta, Man of Gold, Dominique G, Luke Davies, Sauron Pedersen, Morsco, Shibadiba, and of course, the Goat of Kick himself, King Duffy. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like, comment and subscription if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one.